When you watch a film, what do you hear? Dialogue, sound effects, scores. Film scores are important elements in movies because they can set time and place of the scene, enhance the mood, and create emotions. So when we look at score, so you look at a soundtrack of a film, right? You have dialogue, you have music, and you have sound effects. Dialogue is commonly known to give the content, sound effects gives it realism, and music gives it emotion. One of the things, aspects of this that I love is people aren't fixated on the music. So it gives us sort of a open door to the subconscious where we can go in and subtly alter the, the content. James Horner, Hans Zimmer, and of course, John Williams are well-known film composers. But what does it mean to be a film composer? Film scores can mean a lot of different things. When we use the word film scores, it's like just talking music in general, right? There's like a whole wide range. The role of the film scoring person, I think, has uh, it has to be more uh, flexible. You can't just say, I write film scores. It can be very difficult to make a living as a composer today, so many of them multitask. Sound designing is a very common option because sound design and music have a lot of things in common. Good musicianship is key. Music is my first passion. If they ask me to create some music for a specific movie, uh, I'm always willing to do it. And I create a sound, I think about the music, but I have to um, transform that feeling uh, of the music into a sound. I take the, the music skills and I transfer that into, you know, creating uh, an audio sound. I think about, you know, Pink Floyd as a band. They did a lot of music. They sing on their music, but in the background you also hear a lot of uh, natural sounds. And when I create the sounds for a, mu uh, for a movie, I, I try to think as the Pink Floyd. I, get get rid I have to get rid of the music part, but I leave the, the extra part, the background. So, for, for example, in a um, very silent uh, or quiet scene, I might introduce the, um, some kind of birds, you know, uh, sounds uh, with a little bit of um, art artificial uh, audio in, together. In order for people to know you, uh, you, you will have, unfortunately, to to give away your music um, and your copyrights in a way and then slowly when you, you, you will find your niche in the field and people will call you more and more. At, at that point you will uh, sell your music. I had to give away part of my music for free. Uh, it's just our biggest challenge because if someone's going to hire me to do music for their work, they're basically committing to pay me $500 per minute of completed music that I'm writing. So if they're asking for five minutes of music, that's $2,500, that's coming right off of their budget to develop the game. And they could go to some of these websites to actually have music on them, and they could license music that isn't custom and isn't exclusive to them for $18 or $20 a clip, right? So they can spend maybe $70 on that rather than $2,500 on something custom for them. And it's really tempting for composers to go and race to the bottom and say, well, I'll do it for $75 instead of $2,500. And, uh, but then all that does is just dilute the market to such a point where nobody can actually make a, a living doing that. This is a lifelong passion of mine. It's not something that, uh, I would love to do it and make a living at it, but at the same time, I am blessed to have multiple ways of earning money so I don't have to run my budget dry in order to keep the dream alive. Um, in fact, uh, the work I do for Sony and the work I do here at CCSF um, helps uh, bankroll my ability to continue to write music. I think there's more opportunities for composers for media now than there ever were. If you go back 
into the 80s and the 90s, there's like six or seven composers that were working all the time and making all the money. And then there was a lot of other composers making independent films, making no money. Now with the advent of Facebook and Facebook games and iPhones and iPhone games and, and web, ser web television series, is, there's just a lot of opportunities for composers to uh, get out there and start working and building a name for themselves. Um, there isn't this like cliff that you have to scale to get to a place where people know who you are. You can be working your way up more subtly. So the role of the composer hasn't really changed, but I think the opportunity is more there now than there was uh, a decade ago.